Welcome to the world of neural network, where machine learn to think and take decisions just like us, humans. Hi, my name is Pranjit Srivastu. I will be taking you on this journey where we are going to explore the fascinating things about neural network. So let's get started. Before understanding the neural network, it is important to understand the human brains. Right now, as you are watching and listening to me, your eyes and your ears are actively sending inputs to your brain. And then your brain is processing this raw information and allowing you to understand the concept of neural network. This process of receiving, processing and learning is exactly how the human brain works. Now, Imagine we have a neural network, which is a computer system inspired by our human brain. We will provide this neural network with similar input, just like your eyes and ears provide input to your brain. Then this neural network will process this information, recognize patterns from it, and then make predictions. But there is a catch. Unlike the human brain that learns through years of experiences, our neural network learns through training. It is initially unaware of what the input means or how to interpret them, but by repeatedly exposing the network to labeled examples and adjusting its internal connection, it gradually learns to recognize meaningful patterns and associations. I hope now you have understood how neural network replicate our human brain. In short, neural network is a computational model which is inspired by our human brain that process the complete information and interpret something from it. Now let's have a closer look about different components of human brain and neural network side by side. One of the key components of the brain is the neuron who is responsible for receiving the sensory input from the external world for sending motor commands to your muscles and for transforming and relying on the electro signals at every steps. Within a neurons we have a dendroid which are like branches that receive signals from other neurons. In a similar way, in a neural network, we can think of artificial neurons as the analogous to the neurons of human brain. These artificial ne neurons also receive input from other neurons or any other external environment. In the human brain, there is something called soma. It is responsible for integrating the incoming signals from the dendroid and making decisions about whether to transmit an electrical signal or not, which is also known as action potentials to other neurons. In a neural network, the summation function performs a similar task. It aggregates the input received from other neurons and combines them using weighted connection and uh, applies an activation function in order to determine the neuron's output. Here, the soma plays a critical role in you know, information processing as it integrates and processes incoming signals before producing an output or transmitting that information to other connected neurons. The process information within an artificial neuron then travels through its equivalent of an axon. In the context of neural network, the axon can be understood as the output of the neuron. For the signal to be transmitted from one artificial neuron to another, we need a connection similar to the synapses in the human brain. In a neural network, this connection between artificial neurons are analogous to synapses. Synapses act as a bridge between neurons, allowing signals to be transmitted from the axon of one neuron to the dendrite of other neuron. In a neural network, connection between the artificial neuron transmits signal from one neuron to other, just like a synapses. Okay, so. As the signals travel through the brain, they reach different regions or you can say different cluster of neurons, also known as nuclei. In similar way, in neural network, there are layers of artificial neurons that can be seen as the analogous to the nuclei. These layers perform specific computations and process the information. So there you will have it, the introduction of neural network and how this neural network is connected to human brains. In this series, we will dig deep deeper in order to understand the world of neural network and we are going to also explore lot of other things which are related to the neural network like activation function, cost functions, different layers and of course we are going to learn about CNN and RNN and lot of other things related to the neural network. So join me in the next video 
where we are going to explore the basic structure of neural network in more detailed way. Okay, and together we will unravel the mysteries and unleash the power of fascinating thing which is called neural network. See you soon.